Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Aroma 20 Cup Cooked Digital Rice Cooker. Aroma sent me this sample so I can tell you what I think of it. This unit can cook up to 10 cups of raw rice. It can also steam vegetables or meat at the same time as you cook the rice. The cooker measures a little over 11 inches in height and about 12 inches across. This will take up some counter space. The cord is about 46 inches long. Included with the cooker is the inner pot, steam tray, measuring cup, and spatula. All the parts are BPA free. If you lose the measuring cup, this is a 3 quarter cup standard US measure. There are measurements on the side of the cup. This holds 160 grams of rice or 5.6 ounces. There's also quarter, half, and 3 quarter cup markings. The lid has a handle and a release button. The steam vent goes in this hole and that can be removed for cleaning. The vent on top of the cooker should not be blocked. Condensation collects here. It pulls out and you can empty it if you need to. The control panel shows the functions you can use. There's white rice. With the brown rice function, you can cook quinoa and other grains that need a longer time to cook. A steam function, slow cook function. You can set the time from 2 to 10 hours to make stews or anything else that you want to use a slow cook function for. Remember not to use the included spatula for slow cooking. It can't withstand high heat. The flash rice function cooks rice about 10 minutes faster than the white rice function. With the delay timer, you can pour water and rice in the pot and use the plus and minus buttons to set the time to start cooking. And there is the keep warm function. When the unit finishes cooking rice, it automatically switches to keep warm. The keep warm function should not be used for longer than 12 hours. This is the on off button to turn the unit on and off. Before using, make sure to wash the condensation collector, the steam vent inside the lid, the steam tray, cup, spatula, and inner pot. You can wash all the parts in warm soapy water or on the top rack of your dishwasher. Of course, don't wash the cooker itself, just wipe it down with a damp cloth. Dry all the parts and make sure to put the steam vent back into the lid and also the condensation collector. Make sure that the inner pot is dry on the outside. You don't want any wetness to touch the inside of the cooker. Inside the inner pot, you'll see the water line that matches up with the amount of rice that you're using. So if you're measuring out eight cups of rice in the included measuring cup, you would fill water up to the line marked next to the eight. The instruction manual lists the cups of rice, cooking times and yields. There's also a steam table for meat and vegetables. A few recipes are included in the manual. Here I have measured out five cups of long grain basmati rice using the included measuring cup. Always rinse your rice before you use it. Put the rice in the pot, put water over it, and just move it around. You'll see that the water gets cloudy. I always like to rinse the rice a few times with water. And then you drain off the water. You can of course use a strainer if you're not used to doing it by hand. Washing the rice this way gets rid of any impurities in the rice and some of the starch. The rice tends to be softer and fluffier. Just put the pot over a cloth and make sure the bottom and outside are dry. Now I'll fill water up to the five line. From reviewing a lot of rice cookers, I've found that if you fill a tiny bit over the line, your rice will come out very moist. So that's what I'm gonna do here also. I'll go up to the five line and fill it a tiny bit above. Sometimes rice cookers will tend to dry out the rice if you just fill it up to the line. So we have the five cups of rice measured in the measuring cup that was included and water filled a tiny bit over the five mark line. Open the lid, put the pot in. Now what I'm gonna do is steam some carrots 
the same time as the rice is cooking. So I'll put the carrots on the steam tray. This is eight medium carrots cut up into chunks, about one pound or 450 grams. When you're cooking rice and steaming something else at the same time, the maximum amount of rice you can cook is eight cups of raw rice. And you can steam at any point during the rice cooking period. But the best thing to do is to steam towards the end of the cycle. So the vegetables and rice will be done at the same time and both will be hot. According to the manual, the carrot should take about 25 minutes. The five cups of rice should take from 36 to 41 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is start cooking the rice and during the last 25 minutes, I'll put the carrots in. We'll close the lid, plug in the unit, press the on button, and press white rice. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little orange indicator light next to cooking. There will be a countdown in the last 10 minutes of cooking time. Since the rice should take 40 minutes to cook, I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and then put the carrots in, since they take about 25 minutes to cook. It's been 15 minutes, I'm gonna open the cooker. Be careful, there's gonna be a lot of hot steam coming out. And I'll put in the carrots. The tray just sits right on top. Close it and let it continue to cook. It's the last 10 minutes and the cooker has started counting down. Those are the beeps to indicate the rice is finished cooking. That took 37 minutes and the keep warm light is on, the unit automatically goes into keep warm mode once the rice is finished cooking. And during this mode, the display will show how many hours it's been on keep warm. Turn the unit to off and unplug when you're finished. It's best to take out steamed food right away. I'll turn the unit to off, open the lid. Now I wish the steam basket had a handle so it would be easier to pull out, but you're gonna have to use an oven mitt or tongs. The carrots are definitely cooked. They're nice and tender. I think the carrots could even just be cooked for 20 minutes. These are very well done. I'll take the tray out. Always stir the rice to even out the moisture. The rice looks like it's cooked nicely. Check the bottom. There's no burning at the bottom, which is good. There's a tiny bit of crusting starting to happen. I'll taste it. You can see it's cooked. It's actually cooked perfectly. Now, I think that's because I added the extra bit of water and it definitely needs the extra bit of water. If I didn't add it, I think it would be a little dry. So with this rice cooker, I would definitely add a tiny bit of water over the line to get perfectly cooked rice. As you can see, there is water collected in the condensation cup. So we'll go ahead and empty this out. If you're serving this right away, you can leave it in the cooker or of course you can just Take the pot out, be careful, it is very hot. This is the bottom of the pot after I've taken all the rice out. Nothing has stuck. Since the pot is non-stick, make sure you don't use any metal utensils. You don't wanna scratch the coating. It's very easy to wash out the plastic tray, but brightly colored vegetables like carrots will stain it. You can get the stains out with some lemon juice. Next, I'll try out the slow cook function. In the inner pot, I have six boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is about one and a half pounds. Here I have a third a cup of fresh lemon juice. To this, I'll add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, teaspoon of salt, and a good teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning. I also have one yellow onion chopped small and three garlic cloves sliced. Mix this up. Put the onions and garlic in. Pour in the lemon juice mixture. Close the lid. Turn the unit on. Press slow cook.
will slow cook the chicken for four hours. You can use this as a four quart slow cooker. During the last hour of cooking, the timer will count down in minutes. The outside of the unit is a little warm to the touch, but not hot. The four hour slow cooking is finished and the unit has switched to keep warm mode. The thighs look very moist. Smells really good. The onions and garlic still hold their shape. They're tender, but they have not fallen apart. And you can see there's plenty of liquid in the pot. We only added the third a cup of lemon juice and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So you don't need to add any additional water if you're just cooking meat like this. Let me go ahead and taste a piece. The meat is so soft, flavorful, juicy, absolutely delicious. This meat is great shredded in tacos, enchiladas, over rice, sandwiches, wraps, pretty much anything. So you saw how the aroma performed on cooking rice, steaming vegetables and chicken on the slow cook function. You can make rice, meat and vegetables at one time, which is very convenient. Since this unit makes up to 20 cups of rice and takes up some space, it's best suited for larger families. If you want to try out this aroma, I've put a link in the description below. Share this video if you found it useful. Subscribe for more reviews of products you use every day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.